<coughs> I bow to all the seekers of truth. At the very outset, I have to say that truth is what it is. Can they hear or not? Ask them. You cannot change it. You cannot challenge it. And unfortunately, with this human awareness, you cannot know it. In our evolutionary process, we have become human beings, but still we don't know the absolute truth. A little slowly, you have to speak English fast, perhaps. Something more has to happen to us that we all know the absolute truth. Because we don't know the absolute truth, that's why we have arguments, we have problems, we quarrel and fight, and ultimately we have wars. In all the scriptures, it is written that you are to be born again. Whatever I'm going to tell you, you should not take it for granted. This blind faith has brought lots of problems to us. But you should keep your mind open as scientist, and if you find what I'm saying has been proved, then as honest people you have to accept it. Because it is for your benevolence, for the benevolence of your family, for the benevolence of your country, and for the bene benevolence of the whole world. Unfortunately, most of the problems come from human beings in this world. And almost all the problems of human beings come from these centers being in jeopardy. These subtle centers are responsible for our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual being. You have been already told about this power, Kundalini, which resides in the sacrum bone. That means the Greek knew it's a sacred bone. This power is the power of pure desire within you. All other desires are not pure because we wa want to have, say, for example, today we want to have a house, then tomorrow we want to have a car, then we want to have a helicopter. It goes on like this from one to another. According to economics, wants are not satiable in general. But whether you are aware or not, the pure desire to become one with the divine is within you. In modern times, as predicted, many people who are seeking the truth have been born. I call it as a blossom time, but they have called it by other, many other names. In the Quran, it is called as Ru. No, I'm sorry, Kiyama. It's, Kiyama. it's called as Kiyama. And in the Bible, as the last judgment. So it is left to your freedom whether you want to go to heaven or you want to go to hell. If we look at the science, we should know that it has its own limitations. 
and while seeking the truth we will not know because it is so limited firstly it is a moral and secondly it cannot answer many questions it cannot say why are we on this earth it cannot say what is our identity so people are changing their dresses changing their hair styles all kinds of things they do thinking that is their identity but the identity is within you that is you are not this body this mind this intellect this uh, these emotions these conditionings this ego but you are pure spirit when we say my intellect my body who is the owner of this my the second truth is that there is a all pervading divine power of love which does all the living work we have never felt this divine power before it is also called by different names some call it the cool breeze of the holy ghost and some call it as the all pervading divine power of love and some call it as parama chaitanya so the second important thing at this time is that you have to become the spirit and you have to feel this all pervading power on your central nervous system if this does not happen you will be restless you will have all the problems and you will never feel satisfied in life people have been seeking everywhere in these special times they have been taking frantically so many things but they have not been able to understand what they are seeking firstly we must know that it is a living process of evolution you cannot pay for it this is your own power and is your own potential glory has to be manifested when this power rises within you it passes through six centers it nourishes your six centers by which you get your physical mental emotional and spiritual problem solved in india in the delhi university there are four doctors now who have got their md with surge yoga curing it cures many diseases and is by your own power is very easy to know what diseases you have or to know if you have any mental problems because on your fingertips you can feel your centers these centers are here shown as it is even a child can make it out now if you know how to cure these centers you get all right you can also feel the centers of others thus you can cure others also because you develop a new dimension in your awareness which is called as collective consciousness second thing that happens to you that you become absolutely thoughtlessly aware if i say that you pay attention to yourself you cannot pay if i say that you stand in your presence you cannot present 
we only think about the future or about the past. The past is finished and future doesn't exist. So, to be in the present, something more has to happen because present is the reality. So when this Kundalini rises, she elongates our thoughts and we become thoughtlessly aware. We are fully aware, but there is no thought. If you want to think, you can think, but actually you get divine inspirations. When you are thoughtlessly aware, you are absolutely peaceful within yourself. You watch the whole world like a drama and you are a witness. All your worries disappear, all your problems disappear, you get out of them. As if the divine power takes over. Like this instrument has no meaning unless and until it is connected to the mains. In the same way, our life has no meaning unless and until we are connected to this all-pervading power. Your attention also becomes very innocent, devoid of any lust or greed. When we take to religions, we should understand that Today, the religions have reached another state of perversion. They are money-oriented or power-oriented and are fighting among themselves. One may call yourself as Christian, Hindu, Muslim, anything. Anybody can commit any sin. Also, people like Christ and Muhammad Sahib, all such great people, were really so pure and did not know what sort of people they are facing. Whatever they have commanded is for the saints, for the enlightened ones, but not for normal human beings. Normal beings cannot, normal human beings cannot follow them. Like Christ has said in the fifth chapter of Matthews, that if your one eye commits a sin, you take it out. Or if your hand does any sinful thing, you cut your hand. If somebody slaps on one cheek, turn the other cheek. I haven't seen any Christian without eyes and without hands so far. That means Christians are not Christians, they are not following Christ at all. Even Muhammad Sahaba's verse, he thought all the rules and regulations are only for men, so do something more for women. So he said any woman who has uh, bad intentions about any man should be buried in the mother earth halfway and should be put uh, to death with stones. Now please tell me, in America, how many would leave American women? So this kind of serious, very strict rules were made for ordinary human beings. Because they do not know what human beings are like. That's why they crucified. They had no sensitivity of spirituality. So first one has to become an enlightened soul, a saint. Then only one can follow Christ or Muhammad Sahib. A normal human being is full of weaknesses and is too much to follow these great, great people. In Sahaja Yoga, we have no punishments. There's only divine love. Because we understand as human beings as they are. But with the Kundalini awakening, you become exactly what Christ has asked you to be. 
that is your attention becomes absolutely innocent, devoid of lust and greed. And this pure attention becomes very powerful. With this attention, which is so pure, the person emits peace and joy and creates a very holy atmosphere. It's not talking, but it's a happening. It is no sermon, but actualization of the baptism. One has to know that you cannot pay for this living process. God does not understand money. You can pay for this hall, but you cannot pay for your self-realization or for your enlightenment. If you just apply this test to people, you will know who are false and who are real. In this short lecture, I may not be able to tell you all about Sahaja Yoga. Saha means with, Ja means born. Born with you is the right to have this yoga means the union with the divine power. This is your right, this is your birthright to have it. Last time when I was traveling, I went over San Paolo. And I felt there are many seekers here because there were holy vibrations. And I asked them, please organize uh, some program in San Paulo. Because there are so many real seekers here. And I'm happy that you all have come for your self-realization. Above all, you jump into the ocean of joy. Happiness and unhappiness are the two coins of one coin, as a two sides of one coin. When your ego is pampered, you feel happy. When it is punctured, we feel unhappy. But joy is singular. Where you witness the whole world, and you see everything as a beautiful creation of God. And your attention is so powerful that you can solve so many problems of the world. You reach another state which we call as doubtless awareness, where you get all the powers to raise the Kundalini of others, give them their self-knowledge. You can cure others, you can create peace on this earth. Because you become innately righteous. I don't have to tell you, don't do this, don't do that. It's like this, if I have a snake in my hand and I am very adamant, if you tell me there is a snake, I won't believe, I said it's a rope. Because because there is darkness, I can't see. Because there is darkness, I can't see. And I am adamant. I don't want to believe till the snake bites me, I don't believe. But as soon as there is some light, I myself throw away the snake. All that is destructive in me, I give up. Nobody has to tell me. Such a state of righteousness you have within yourself, which is manifested. And then you come to know that all the religions were born as beautiful flowers on the same tree of spirituality. We pluck the flowers and we are fighting with the dead flowers. 
Thus you transcend all these limitations of racialism, of communalism, of all kinds of nonsense that we have been adhering to. All this is your own. Tonight, you all can get your enlightenment. You all can feel the all-pervading power of divine love. Only thing, you have to have the pure desire and full confidence in yourself. Of course, I cannot force it on you. I respect your freedom as human beings. If you don't want to have, you can leave the hall. It will hardly take 10 to 15 minutes. I know the people here are seekers, yes. are less seekers. And it's your right to have your ascent. Firstly, this Kundalini is your own mother, is your individual mother. She knows all about you. She knows what mistakes you have committed and also she knows your aspirations. And she is very anxious to give you your second birth. So you don't have to worry about yourself. Please don't judge yourself. Let her judge. So you should be pleasantly placed towards yourself. So the first and the foremost thing we should have is self-confidence and should not feel guilty about anything. This guilt is a horrible thing. This creates a problem on the left-hand side here, on the left center, and can give you lots of troubles. It gives you spondylitis, angina. It gives you lethargic organs. Diseases like tuberculosis. So why to have guilt? Whatever was wrong in the past is over now, finished. We are talking about the present. Please don't feel guilty. Because if this center is in problem, the Kundalini won't pass through. As I love you, you have to love yourself. Then another condition is that you should not, you should forgive everyone. Some people think it is difficult. But logically, whether you forgive or you don't forgive, you don't do anything. But if you don't forgive, then you torture yourself. And, and play into wrong hands. But at this moment, it is very important to forgive. Because the center at the optic chasma is constricted like this, like a cross. And if you don't forgive, it won't open like this. And at this important moment, Kundalini cannot pass through. As it is, you have tortured yourself with this myth of not forgiving. And at this moment, you should not miss this great important thing of your life, is enlightenment. Also, you need not think about people whom you have to forgive, because it's a headache. In general, you have to forgive everyone. The third condition is that you have to take out your shoes. 
I know it is very simple. <laughs> but in London, first time when I had a program, I asked them, they have to take their shoes, they walked out of the hall, half of them. <laughs> so, Sahaja Yoga is not meant for stupid people. It's not meant for idiots, I should say. Also, it is not meant for arrogant people. You have to ask for your self-realization, otherwise I cannot force it on you. But firstly, you should be humble. With so little advertisement and everything, so many of you have come. It's very encouraging for all of us. You will get your sprouting, I would say, like a seed sprouts. Because it is all built in within you. But it is a collective happening. You cannot be uh, working it out in your homes and houses. You have to come to the collective to grow. What surprises me that when I go to any country, there are thousands who come. I don't know how they have so much trust in me. I'm a foreigner for you. But later on, they don't trust their own people who are here to help you. They can help you to grow. Because after this, who is the other? Who is the other? You become collectively conscious. A microcosm becomes macrocosm. A drop becomes the ocean. Such love, such friendship, such pure relationship develops that our society improves tremendously. There's a lot to be said, but I think first let us have our enlightenment. There are so many lights here, you have to just switch on and they come out. Because it is already built in, if I have to tell you all the history of electricity and how it was brought here, you will be bored stiff. It's better to put the lights on first. Now, it's very simple as I told you. I'm happy you all have taken out your shoes without any grudges. <laughs> you should be very pleasantly placed towards yourself. As I have told you, you don't have to do anything. It's spontaneous. Only for tonight, you will have to nourish your centers with your self-confidence, which I'll tell you how to do it. First, we'll show you how you will do it. Primeiro, eu vou lhes mostrar como será o processo. You have been told that there are two powers within us. Já lhes foi dito que existem dois poderes dentro de cada um de vocês. Which create the third? Que cria o terceiro. The left one is for your desire. O canal esquerdo é para o seu desejo. And the right one for your action. E o canal direito para a sua ação. Those who are sitting in the ground are all right. Otherwise, please keep your both the feet apart from each other. Aqueles que estão sentados no chão, tudo bem, mas aqueles que estão na cadeira, mantenham os dois pés apoiados no chão, um do lado do outro. 
apart from each other. Separados um pouco um do outro os pés. Now you please put your left hand on your left lap. Então agora por favor coloquem a sua mão esquerda aberta no colo do lado esquerdo. Everyone of you have to do it. If you don't want to do it, I would request you that you can go out. E todos vocês que estão aqui, por favor, façam o processo. Se vocês não quiserem, saiam da sala, porque pode perturbar os outros. There are no hostilities, nothing to be given up. Something has to happen within, not outside. Não há nenhum tipo de hostilidade, simplesmente um processo interno e não externo. You have to sit very comfortably. Vocês têm que se sentar muito confortavelmente. Don't have to go to Himalayas. You'll get them here only. Ninguém get precisa here. ir aos Himalaias. Aqui mesmo nós vamos receber. Sit very comfortably. Procurem se sentir confortáveis. All right. So the left hand is towards me, which is symbolic that you want to have, you have the desire to get your self-realization. Então, a mão esquerda é voltada para mim, e isso simboliza que vocês desejam a sua realização. So we use our right hand to nourish our centers on the left hand side. E nós iremos usar a mão direita para nutrir os centros do lado esquerdo. So first we put our right hand on our heart. Então primeiro colocamos a mão direita sobre o coração. In the heart resides the spirit. E no coração reside o espírito. Now if you become the spirit in the light of the spirit, you become your own guide, your own master. E uma vez que nós nos conectamos com o Espírito, nós nos tornamos a nossa própria luz, o nosso próprio mestre. So, please, take your right hand, the upper portion of your abdomen, on the left hand side. Então, por favor, coloquem agora a mão direita na parte superior do abdômen, sobre as costelas do lado esquerdo. This, this is the center of your mastery created by great prophets and seers. E este é o centro da sua mestria que foi criado por grandes profetas e visionários. Now, please take your right hand in the low portion of your abdomen on the left hand side. Então agora, por favor, coloquem a mão direita no lado inferior do abdômen, sempre do lado esquerdo. Surprisingly, this is the center of pure divine knowledge. Surpreendentemente, este é o centro do seu conhecimento divino. By which you know the divine science através do qual vocês poderão conhecer a ciência divina now you raise your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen agora novamente a mão direita na parte superior do abdômen on the left hand side sempre do lado esquerdo then on your heart novamente sobre o coração then in the corner of your neck and shoulder and turn your head to your right e depois no canto onde o pescoço se encontra com o ombro e virem a cabeça um pouco para a direita. Eu já lhes falei que o sentimento de culpa faz muito mal a este centro. Then take your right hand on top of your forehead across. Depois coloquem a mão direita sobre a testa, atravessada sobre a testa. And please put down your head. As far as possible. E abaixem a cabeça tanto quanto puderem. This is the center where you have to forgive everyone. Este é o centro onde devemos perdoar a todos. In general. Em geral. Then you take your hand on the back side of your head and push back your head and put your head up. Depois coloquem a palma da mão direita do lado de trás da cabeça e apoiem a cabeça sobre a mão, colocando a cabeça para trás. Now, stretch your palm fully for the last center. E agora estiquem bem a mão e os dedos para o último centro. Now, put the center of your palm on top of the fontanel bone area. E agora coloquem o centro da palma da mão no topo da cabeça na área do osso da fontanela. And please put down your head. E por favor coloquem a cabeça para baixo. As far as possible. Tão, tanto quanto puderem. Now push back your fingers. Agora estiquem bem os dedos para cima. And be 
it's very important to push back your fingers. Please push them back. So there's a good pressure on your scalp. É muito importante esticar bem os dedos para que haja uma pressão sobre o couro cabeludo. And now move your scalp slowly, seven times. E agora, Clockwise. E agora movam o couro cabeludo lentamente no sentido horário sete vezes. That's all you have to do. Isso é tudo que nós iremos fazer. Now we have to close our eyes. But before that, see that you put both your feet away from each other and your left hand on your left lap. Agora é muito importante que fechemos os olhos. Por favor, fechem os olhos e também coloquem os pés firmes sobre o chão, separados um do outro e a mão esquerda sobre o colo esquerdo. We should sit very comfortably. Uh, not bending before uh, in front or uh, straining yourself on the back, but just comfortably. Vocês devem procurar se sentir o mais confortável possível, sem nenhum tipo de esforço na coluna, nas costas. Don't doubt yourself, please. E não duvidem de si mesmos, por favor. All right. Now put your right hand on your heart. Agora, com os olhos fechados, coloquem a mão direita sobre o coração. And close your eyes. And please don't open them till I tell you. Por favor, fechem os olhos e não os abram até que eu lhes diga. Here resides your spirit. Aqui reside o seu espírito. So, you have to ask a fundamental question about yourself three times. Então, aqui vocês devem fazer uma pergunta fundamental sobre si mesmos três vezes. You may call me mother or Shri Mataji. Vocês podem me chamar de mãe ou Shri Mataji. So, please ask three times in your heart, Mother, am I the spirit? Então, por favor, perguntem três vezes com todo o coração. Mãe, sou eu o Espírito? I have already told you that if you become the Spirit, you become your guide, your own master. Eu já lhes disse que uma vez que vocês se tornem o Espírito, vocês se tornam o seu próprio guia, o seu próprio mestre. So now take your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen on the left hand side. Então agora coloquem a mão direita na parte superior do abdômen do lado esquerdo. Now again, you have to ask another fundamental question about yourself in your heart. E aqui novamente vocês devem fazer uma pergunta fundamental sobre si mesmos com todo o coração. So please ask the question, mother, am I my own master? Então, aqui, por favor, faça uma pergunta. Mãe, sou eu o meu próprio mestre? I have already told you that I respect your freedom and I cannot force divine knowledge on you. Eu já lhes disse que eu respeito a sua liberdade e não posso forçar conhecimento divino sobre vocês. You have to ask for it. Vocês têm que pedir, desejá-lo. Now please take your right hand in the low portion of your abdomen on the left hand side. Então agora por favor coloquem a mão direita na parte de baixo do abdômen do lado esquerdo. Here you have to ask six times because this center has got six petals. E aqui vocês deverão pedir seis vezes porque este centro tem seis pétalas. So please ask six times in your heart. Então, por favor, perguntem, peçam seis vezes no seu coração. Mother, please give me your divine knowledge. Mãe, por favor, me dê o puro conhecimento divino. Now, 
you must know that when you ask for pure divine knowledge, the Kundalini starts rising upward into up your higher centers. Uma vez que vocês peçam pelo conhecimento puro divino, a Kundalini começa a subir e começa a nutrir os seus centros superiores. So you have to nourish your higher centers with your self-confidence. Então agora vocês devem nutrir esses centros superiores com toda a autoconfiança. So now raise your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen on the left hand side and say with full self-confidence ten times, Mother, I am my own master. Então agora coloquem a mão direita do lado esquerdo na parte superior do abdômen e digam com toda confiança, Mãe, eu sou o meu próprio mestre. I have already told you at the outset that you are not this body, this mind. These emotions inflict your conditionings and your ego. Eu já lhes disse no princípio que vocês não são este corpo, esta mente, este intelecto, os condicionamentos ou o ego. But you are the pure spirit. Mas vocês são o espírito puro. So now raise right hand on top of your heart and say with full self-confidence 12 times. Mother, então, I am the pure spirit. Então agora coloquem a mão direita sobre o coração. E digam com toda confiança dez vezes, Mãe, eu sou o puro Espírito. Now, this all-pervading power of divine love is the ocean of knowledge. Este poder onipresente de amor divino é o oceano de conhecimento. It is the ocean of Joy and bliss. É o oceano de regozijo e glória. It is the ocean of compassion. E é o oceano de compaixão. But above all, it is the ocean of forgiveness. Mas acima de tudo, ele é o oceano de perdão. And whatever mistakes you might commit can be easily dissolved into the power of this ocean of forgiveness. E qualquer erro que vocês possam ter cometido é facilmente dissolvido neste oceano de amor e perdão. So raise your right hand in the corner of your neck and shoulder and turn your head to your right. Então agora coloquem a mão direita no canto do pescoço com o ombro e virem a cabeça para a direita, o braço pela frente. Please forgive yourself and say 16 times with full self-confidence Mother, I am not guilty at all. Então agora, perdoem a si mesmos e digam com toda confiança, Mãe, eu não sou culpado de nada. I have already explained to you that logically, whether you forgive or don't forgive, you don't do anything. Eu já lhes expliquei que pela lógica, quer vocês perdoem ou não, vocês não irão resolver nada. But if you don't forgive, then you play into wrong hands. Mas ao não perdoarem, vocês irão estar jogando em mãos erradas. And you torture yourself. E irão torturar a si mesmos. At this important moment, please forgive. Neste momento tão importante, por favor, perdoem. Please forgive all of them even without thinking about them. Perdoem a todos e a si mesmos sem nem mesmo pensar sobre isso. So this center of Agya will open and the Kundalini will pass through. Assim este centro Agya irá se abrir e a Kundalini poderá passar através dele. Raise your right hand now on top of your forehead across and put down your head. Agora coloquem a palma da mão na testa atravessada e abaixem um pouco a cabeça. Here you have to say From your heart, not how many times, Mother, I forgive everyone in general. E aqui vocês devem dizer, não importa quantas vezes, mas que seja vindo do coração, 
Please. Mãe, eu perdoo a todos em geral. Please put down your heads. Por favor, abaixem a cabeça. Now, without feeling guilt, without yeah. counting your mistakes, just for your satisfaction, you have to ask forgiveness from the divine power. E agora, sem se sentirem culpados, sem contarem os próprios erros, vocês irão pedir perdão ao poder divino. So now, please raise your hand, the back side of your head, and press it hard, and push back your head. The sky. Então agora, por favor, coloquem a mão direita na parte de trás da cabeça e pressionem e apoiem a cabeça sobre a mão e coloquem a cabeça para trás em direção ao céu. At this center you have to say, oh divine power, please forgive me e neste... for, for my mistakes if I have done any Knowingly or unknowingly. E neste centro vocês devem pedir, ó oh, poder divino, me perdoe por qualquer erro que eu tenha cometido, conscientemente ou não. Please say it from your heart again, not how many times. Por favor, digam isso do coração, não importa quantas vezes. Now the last center is the most important. Agora o último centro é o mais importante. Please stretch your palm fully. Por favor, estiquem a palma da mão completamente. And put the center of your palm on top of the fontanel bone area, which was a soft bone in your childhood. E coloquem o centro da palma no topo do osso da fontanela, aquele osso que foi mole, a moleira na sua infância. Now Push back your fingers and please put down your head. Então agora estiquem os dedos e abaixem a cabeça, no topo da cabeça. Here again I cannot force self-realization on you. E aqui novamente eu devo dizer que não posso forçar a realização do si sobre vocês. You have to ask for it. Vocês devem pedir por ela. So move your scalp seven times slowly clockwise, saying seven times, Mother. Please give me my self-realization. Então, por favor, movam a palma da mão sete vezes em sentido horário e digam para si mesmos: Mãe, por favor, me dê a minha realização do si. Now please take down your hands and open your eyes slowly. Agora por favor abaixem a mão e lentamente abram os olhos. Please put both the hands towards me like this. Por favor coloquem ambas as mãos em direção a mim dessa forma. And watch me without thinking. You can put on your glasses. E olhem para mim sem pensar. Se vocês precisarem coloquem os óculos de novo. Without thinking. Sem pensar. Now, please put your right hand towards me. Por favor, coloquem a mão direita em direção a mim. And put down your head, and with the left hand, you see if there's a cool or a hot breeze-like vibrations are coming from your fontanel bone area. Então, a mão direita em direção a mim, e com a mão esquerda, vocês devem procurar sentir se tem uma brisa fresca ou um pouco mais quente saindo dessa área da fontanela, da moleira. Please don't put your hand on the head, but away from it. Some people get it much further and some closer. Por favor, não coloquem a mão grudada na cabeça, mas um pouco acima. Algumas pessoas sentem a brisa mais próxima, algumas mais longe. E abaixem a cabeça um pouco. Now, please don't doubt yourself. 
E agora, por favor, não duvidem de si mesmos. Now take the left hand like this and put down your head and see with the right hand if there's a cool or a hot breeze coming out of your fontanel bone area. Bend your head. E agora coloquem a mão esquerda em direção a mim e com a mão direita procurem sentir se essa brisa fresca ou um pouco mais quente está saindo da cabeça e abaixem um pouco a cabeça. Please bend your head. Por favor, abaixem a cabeça. Bend your head. It's better, easier. É mais Please fácil. Bend. É mais fácil perceber quando a cabeça está um pouco para frente. Put the left hand like this me, like this. A mão esquerda aberta assim em direção ao chimatsu. Now. Com a palma para cima. Now, with the right hand again once more. Agora, right hand towards me and the left hand on top of your fontanel bone area. Please see, there's a cool or a hot breeze-like vibrations coming. Agora novamente a mão direita em, em minha direção e a mão esquerda procura sentir a brisa saindo da cabeça, fresca ou quente. If it is hot, that means you have not forgiven yourself or you have not forgiven others. So please forgive yourself and forgive others. Se esta brisa for mais quente, isso significa que vocês ainda não conseguiram perdoar a si mesmos e aos outros. Então, por favor, tentem perdoar. Now, please open your eyes and put both your hands towards the sky like this and push back your head. Então, agora, com os olhos abertos, coloquem ambas as mãos para cima e coloquem a cabeça esticada para cima, para trás. Here you have to ask uh, one of these three questions three times. E aqui vocês devem perguntar uma das três questões que eu vou colocar três vezes. First one is, Mother, is this the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost? A primeira questão é, Mãe, é esta a brisa fresca do Espírito Santo? Or, Mother, is this the all pervading power of divine love. A segunda é, mãe, é este o poder onipresente de amor divino? Or is this the Parama Chaitanya? E a terceira é, é este o Parama Chaitanya? Ask any one of these questions. Pergunte, three times. Any one, three times. Pergunte qualquer uma dessas questões três vezes. Now please, bring down your hands. Agora, por favor, abaixem as mãos. You'll feel very relaxed. All those who have felt cool or hot breeze-like vibrations in the palm or in the fingers, fingertips, or out of the fontanel bone area, please raise both your hands. Todos aqueles que sentiram a brisa fresca das vibrações ou um pouco mais quente nas mãos, na ponta dos dedos ou saindo da cabeça, por favor, levantem ambas as mãos. I bow to all of you. Eu me inclino a todos vocês. Your saintly life has started. A sua vida santa pode começar, começou agora. May you put down your hands, please. Vocês podem abaixar as mãos, por favor. Your new life has started. You will feel the transformation within yourself. A sua nova vida pode começar depois de receber essa grande transformação. Most of you have got it, except for very, very few. A maioria de vocês recebeu a realização, com exceção de muito poucos. Now you have to respect your self-realization. Agora vocês devem respeitar a sua realização. And again I request, please come to our collective. E novamente eu, eu irei lhes pedir, venham ao coletivo. You don't have to pay anything for whatsoever. Vocês não devem pagar nada por isso. But you have to give some time to yourself. Mas vocês devem dar um pouco de tempo para si mesmos. You will know everything, you will master it 
within at the most one month. Vocês irão saber tudo, vocês serão mestres no máximo em um mês. And then you can give it to others. E aí vocês serão capazes de passar isso para os outros. Thank you very much. Muito obrigado. God bless you all. Que Deus os abençoe a todos. Eu gostaria de falar que o programa de sequência de Sahaj Yoga, quer dizer, o nosso primeiro encontro. Now the message is enjoy yourself and enjoy others. E a minha mensagem é regozijem de si mesmos e dos outros. She wants to sing one last song. You should clap because it's uh, Collective clapping helps a lot. A Mita quer cantar mais uma música e vocês deviam bater palmas porque isso ajuda muito. All right, first. Just a minute, please. Just a minute. Só um momento, por favor, que eu vou dizer o endereço da próxima meditação, do nosso próximo encontro, é Avenida Paulista 900, é aquele prédio da Gazeta que eu acho que todo mundo conhece, no quinto andar, e vai ser no sábado que vem, dia 22, às 15 horas, às 3 da tarde. Isso também está num papel que todo mundo pode receber. Quem não recebeu ainda pode procurar receber na saída. Então, é Avenida Paulista 900, o prédio da Gazeta, no quinto andar, às três da tarde do sábado, dia 22. Quer dizer, o, o próximo sábado. A entrada é pela porta da Universidade, da Fundação Casper Libero. E a entrada é completamente franca, não se paga nada. Esta canção, por um poeta brasileiro, senhor Eurico, transliterou para Sri Mataji. Eu vou cantar quatro, cinco linhas em português, depois em versão original. Eu vou cantar quatro, cinco linhas em português,
God bless you all. अच्छा बजा